So far in this section, we've seen how we can perform lookups using VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, and by combining the index and match functions. And it's now time to move on to talking about the most modern of lookups, and that is XLOOKUP. XLOOKUP was introduced in Excel 2019, and the whole concept behind XLOOKUP is to really provide an easier way of doing essentially the index and match formula. Because one thing you need to understand is that index and match wasn't invented to do lookups. They were two separate functions that people ended up mashing together in order to get around the limitations of VLOOKUP. So the index and match combination for doing lookups was really a, a workaround or a hack, if you like. So Microsoft finally did deal with this by introducing XLOOKUP, which makes the whole process of flexible lookups a lot easier. We don't have any of the limitations that we have with VLOOKUP, and it's a lot easier to construct and remember than index and match. And we're also going to take a quick look at XMATCH, which came along with XLOOKUP. So let's start out by using XLOOKUP to do a very similar lookup. Again, we have our categories, our apps, our revenue, and our profit. Now, I've already gone in and created the data validation dropdown. You've seen me do this quite a few times already in this course. I didn't think I needed to waste time and show you that again. Now, we're going to do the same thing. We want to return the category based on the app that's been selected. So let's use XLOOKUP. Now, one of the other advantages of XLOOKUP is that we now have more arguments to give us even more flexibility. Now, notice that the final three arguments, those are all optional because they're contained within square brackets. So let's just do a very basic XLOOKUP first of all, and then we'll explore some of the other options. And I think you'll find this so much easier than index and match. Now, the first argument here is lookup value. What are we looking up? Well, we're looking up whatever we have in cell H5, F4 to lock, comma, where are we looking it up? What is the lookup array? Well, we're looking up Google Docs in the apps list. F4 to lock, comma. What do we want to return? We want to return the category. So we just simply need to select the category array. That is literally it. So much easier than remembering that index and match formula. Let's hit enter. It returns productivity. Now, again, this isn't a formula that we can copy down. If we copy this down, we're just going to get productivity again. But it is fairly straightforward just to edit this formula. Because H5, that's going to be the same. The cell range B6 to B16, that's going to be the same. It's only this final group of cell references that's going to be different because we want to return a different column. This time, we want to return the profit. So I'm just going to switch out these cell references for these ones just here. Let's press F4, hit enter, and we get our answer. Again, let's apply some accounting formatting. So if we take a look at Google Docs, we can see that that is in the productivity category and the profit is 1,166. Now let's take a look at some of those optional arguments when we're using XLOOKUP. And to demonstrate this, I'm going to make a quick change to this table. Now, let's say that we have two occurrences of Instagram in this table. So effectively, we have a duplicate lookup value. So let's select Instagram from here. You can see it's updated. So the category is game, which is correct. And the profit is 984.90. That looks correct. Let's just finish this off by adding in the revenue. So let's go for X. So let's type in X lookup. Lookup value is Instagram. Our lookup array is the apps list, and our return array this time is the revenue. Let's close the bracket and hit enter. So this looks good so far, but it's returning the details for this row just here. What if I want it to return for this one just here? Now, the reason why it's returning this one is because XLOOKUP will start looking from the top to the bottom. So it's going to look down the apps column for the first occurrence of the word Instagram, and it's going to return those results. So it's always going to return the first one in the list. What if we want it to return this one instead? Well, we can do something slightly different. Let's delete out what we've done and go back into XLOOKUP. Our lookup value is Instagram. Lookup array is still the apps list. The return array is going to be the category, in this case, comma. We now move into our optional arguments. 
Now the first one here is we can specify what we wanted to say in the cell if it can't find Instagram in the list. Now you don't necessarily have to add anything here, but you could say not found. The next argument we move on to is match mode. So again, this is if we want to do an exact match, if we want to do an exact match or next smaller item, exact match or next larger item, those would be more relevant if you're looking up values, or we can do a wildcard character match. Now I want to do an exact match. That is the default. You don't have to put anything in here. So we'll add a zero and move on to the last argument. Now this is where I can tell the XLOOKUP formula that I want to look from the bottom up as opposed to the top down. So the default is to search first to last, but I could say search last to first instead. And that's going to put a minus one on the end. If we close the bracket, hit enter, you can see now it returns the result that I'm looking for. So now it's looking from the bottom up, it finds Instagram and returns the correct category. So I've just gone ahead and I've modified the cell references so that these are correct. So don't forget that you have those additional arguments when you're using XLOOKUP. Now, a common question that I get at this stage is, okay, that works well, but what if I had three, four, five duplicates, five occurrences of Instagram in this list? How would we do that? Well, we can use an entirely different method to do that, which I'm gonna show you in the next lesson. Let's just finish off this lesson by taking a quick look at XMatch as well. So XMatch is similar to match. So let's delete out revenue, and we're gonna type in equals XMatch. Now here we've got a few arguments. Our lookup value, let's say is Instagram. Our lookup array, well, we're looking for that in the apps list. We then get to choose our match mode. So I'm gonna do an exact match. And then we can choose if we're searching first to last or last to first. So let's just do first to last, close the bracket, hit enter and it's showing as a dollar amount, I'm gonna change the formatting to general. You can see that this returns the row position again. So it's looking first to last, Instagram is the fourth item in this range. So this is very similar to using match, it just has some additional options. So that's how you can use the new XLOOKUP and XMATCH to perform flexible lookups. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.